Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. So it really is important that you do take whatever does resonate with you and you simply leave the rest of it aside. Now if you do have any questions, if you would like to contact me, maybe for a question, maybe for a reading, please do so. All my contact information is right below into the YouTube description box. So please do not hesitate. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself, and it is always greatly appreciated, and I do thank you so very much. So with no further ado, um, I do have four messages here of spirit for you. And um, when I'm done with these four messages, I also have a soul card for you. So let's begin with spirit first. We're going to be speaking here about ancestral wisdom. We're going to be following that up by some new beginnings. We also have the strength and we have you are not alone. So let's start this off with the very first one up here, the Ancestral Wisdom. Now, this is a message coming from your ancestors. They love you. They have walked the earth so many years before you. And they're asking you at this very poignant time to learn and to grow from past experiences. You are their legacy and they are going to keep on helping you as you continue to evolve and spirit is going to assist you also. Now this message is coming to you to remind you that you are not alone and as you walk the earth and live in your physical world you may feel that you're not receiving that help you're not receiving that assistance from those who are around you but you need to take, you need to draw in that strength from help from your ancestors, from spirit. They are there to help you from the spirit world. They are constantly evolving and growing as well and they're encouraging you to learn from their past mistakes. So you don't have to make the same ones during your own lifetime. Now you have inherited many of your gifts, of your talents, of your abilities from your ancestors as well as, it goes the other way too, the faults and the habits and the behaviors and even maybe some addictions. You need to take as many as the positive aspects as possible and you need to move on forward as you listen to your soul. And over time, the negative aspects can be eliminated. But only want to acknowledge that you have free will and you can make your own choices in this lifetime. So you need to honor your ancestors spirit world as you honor yourself and you need to move on forward but with all of the love and all the blessing knowing that they are there assisting you and watching over you. Moving over now to new beginnings. Now everything in life is constantly vibrating, everything in life is constantly moving and therefore it's really continuously changing and it's evolving. You have to be aware that a new beginning is on the horizon for you. You must have courage, you must have that faith because right now life is trying to give you that little bit of a nudge, that little nudge forward and move you into a new direction. Now, this powerful message comes forward and its message is really quite simple for you, yet it could have a very profound direct and effect on your future. It's about the process, the process of how to start over and to seize the opportunity to create new beginnings. Now, you may well be saying, I can't do this, it's not the right time, or I'm too old to start all over again. But the spirit world is giving you this message for a very specific reason. Spirit world knows, knows that you need to make changes, to discard some old legacies that may have held you back and to purge and to choose what you want moving on forward. Spirit knows that by doing nothing, okay, nothing is not going to be an option for you. You're not going to be able to move on forward. 
New beginnings can be orchestrated at any time in your life and it's a beautiful way of resetting your own private stage with the props that you want, the backdrop that you want, the you can create the effect of the set for the next stage of your life as if this was a theater piece. You can plan every single thing that you want. This is a great visual way of starting the process of change. So during this time, please do not be alarmed if you feel lost or even if you're feeling somewhat confused. Sometimes it does take a little bit of a drastic life change to truly begin living. Moving over now to some strength. Now strength, it comes from many different sources. Staying strong brings confidence, it brings conviction, and it brings a balanced body, a mind, a soul. Spirit has its own unique and beautiful way of replenishing your soul with strength, but on a continual basis. You are never really going to be alone, as they, spirit world, is always with you. You have received this message because spirit is reminding you that in life, your greatest weaknesses create your greatest strengths. And they are aware that you may be facing new challenges or suffering from a sense of uncertainty or even feeling maybe vulnerable or insecure. In the past, just when you think that you've had no strength left and that you have reached a point where you cannot go on, it's your inner strength combined with the energy that has gently pulled you through. This is a message of confirmation that you are stronger than you believe and now is not the time to give in. You have to use your inner confidence to overcome life's obstacles and know that from each experience a valuable lesson can be learned and will be stored as wisdom to be used within the future. So don't be surprised if help or if assistance comes to you and it could arrive in the most unexpected way so you must remember that spirit is always there for you. And we're going to conclude over here with you are never alone or you are not alone. Spirit is there for you. They never left through all the sadness, the loneliness. However, you cannot sense spirit near you or you can't feel how much love they are sending you right now. Spirit world is your family, your friends, your guides, and you never ever walk alone. They walk right beside you. This message comes at a time when you're probably missing someone right now. You're feeling lonely, you're feeling lost, or you're not getting that emotional or that spiritual help that you truly need from those who are around you right now. And even though you may feel abandoned, don't forget that spirit world is there for you, holding you, guiding you, and helping you through your grief and your sadness. It is spirit world who raise you up and gently push you forward. So I'm speaking here about spirit. I'm speaking about friends and family and guides. You have to remember that they are spirit discarnate, so not of a body. And you are spirit incarnate, so in the body. And they, you are all spirit altogether. And you can connect to them any single time that you wish. You need to find a quiet time where you can be by yourself in your favorite space. Maybe light a candle. Hold whoever it is that you want to contact in your mind and reach out with your heart and with your thoughts. And when you feel a gentle, a warm wave of love wash over you, a little tingle maybe up your spine, or even a special thought or image, you have to know that these are all signs that you are connected and that they love you oh so very much and for always. Moving over now to your um, soul message. This is with energy. So healing energy and immense vitality flow through you easily and effortlessly. This is about vitality, it's health, it's healing, it's passion, it's these qualities and they are expanding in your life. You are a healer, you are a channel for the life force of the universe and your ability to sense energy fields is increasing dramatically. Your soul wants you to know that when you hold back and you repress what you feel, your body and your spirit, they become drained. And when you try to please everybody and deny yourself your life force and what you want, 
And if you strive to meet everyone's expectations, but you forget to honor your own needs, well, your energy field becomes dull and it's allowing your emotions and the needs for that freedom to be spontaneously expressed. However, causes waves of energy to expand inside of you. Running on your own resources, it's easy to become drained. However, letting the divine light of the Creator flow through you easily replenishes your soul. And this does conclude this reading. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I do hope that it brought you some interesting uh, messages that you'll be able to use. If you do have any questions you would like to contact me, please do so. All my information is right below into the YouTube description box. It will be my great pleasure to assist you. If you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe and um, I will be seeing you tomorrow with new messages. Many blessings to you.